So now let's explore some alternative treatments starting with hyaluronic acid injections. These are also known as gel shots, HA injections, or visco supplementation. So first, what exactly is hyaluronic acid? HA is a naturally occurring substance found in the synovial fluid of our joints. It plays a key role in lubricating and cushioning the joints. When injected, hyaluronic acid has anti-inflammatory properties as well as pain relieving properties. The goal of HA therapy is to try to augment and restore the normal viscosity and elasticity of the synovial fluid, which can then help improve joint mobility and reduce pain. Now, I wanna point out that there is a lot of controversy surrounding the effectiveness of hyaluronic acid injections. For example, in 2013, the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery put out a clinical practice guideline that states intraarticular hyaluronic acid is no longer recommended as a method of treatment for patients with symptomatic osteoarthritis of the knee. In 2019, the American College of Rheumatology put out their practice guideline that stated intraarticular hyaluronic acid injections are conditionally recommended against in patients with knee joint osteoarthritis. This is in contrast to the 2015 American Medical Society for Sports Medicine consensus statement, which recommends visco supplementation injections for knee osteoarthritis in those patients above the age of 60 based on high quality evidence demonstrating benefit. So when we have multiple medical and surgical organizations with conflicting recommendations, we want to examine the key factors why. I believe one of the biggest reasons for the variability in effectiveness of these injections lies in the method of administration. Most orthopedists and rheumatologists perform injections using a landmark based technique. This means they palpate for anatomical landmarks and then do their best in delivering the medication into the knee joint. Sports medicine physicians are trained in ultrasound guided injections, which has been shown to improve outcomes. To illustrate my point, here is a comparison of accuracy for common injections using ultrasound guided and landmark based techniques. Landmark based accuracy often range in the low to mid 60s. Accuracy with ultrasound guidance is almost always guaranteed. And here's why it matters. This study looked at outcomes when comparing landmark-based hyaluronic acid injections to ultrasound-guided injections. They found that significantly fewer patients in the ultrasound-guided group went on to need knee replacement surgery when compared to the landmark-based group. This difference was even more pronounced among obese patients. The reason for this is because landmark-based injections are much more difficult in those with excess soft tissue. The authors of the study concluded that we need to rethink visco supplementation and that patients who received ultrasound guided knee hyaluronic acid injections were significantly less likely to undergo subsequent knee arthroplasty than patients receiving landmark based hyaluronic acid injections. Lastly, when it comes to cost, hyaluronic acid injections are covered by most private insurance plans as well as by Medicare. It's important to note that while hyaluronic acid injections are covered for knee arthritis, they're often not covered for arthritis in other joints such as the hips, ankles, and shoulders. If your insurance covers hyaluronic acid, it does make sense to try it as it can be an effective way to decrease pain and improve function. Just make sure your doctor administers it under ultrasound guidance.